usurpers see the masses as mere numbers to exploit to gain populist support for what they want. Tyrants and manipulative bosses don't view people as intelligent and personally responsible for their choices. They see the masses as programmable by propaganda and nothing more. If the masses disagree with the tyrant, the tyrant blames the propagandists. That's the paradigm of a psychopath. But God views all people as personally accountable for their choices. His view is a stark contrast to that of the tyrant. These different leadership worldviews make the difference in failure and success. It's a matter of respecting everyone. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Happy 2018. Donald Trump and Steve Jobs made the same career mistake. They listened to experts when they already are the experts. Taking advice from people who know more is always a good thing. But that doesn't always mean taking advice. Sometimes that means trusting your own instincts. How do you know whether to take advice or to advise yourself? Proof. Look at your track record. Does your history, your resume, your folio, your record, your wake of failed kamikaze attackers prove that you knew what was coming when your opposite opinion advisors still don't fully get it? If so, listen to history. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Demanding rights and what one deserves is a sure sign of imminent downfall. Advocating rights for others is another story, lifting the defenseless from despair. When privileged leaders demand rights for themselves, look out. That's a captain plowing directly into a field of icebergs. Many a successor takes over an organization started by someone else. That new leader didn't scrape to lift the organization from the mud. Without dirty, hard work, the organization wouldn't exist at all. Founders don't take their hard-earned results for granted. They don't consider results a right, but a privilege to pursue. Buy stock in lifters. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. We don't always need the best equipment to practice with. Drawing a skyline with a stick in the sand every day is better than practicing with oil paints only once a month. While oil paints lend themselves to more color and potential, a paintbrush is only as good as the artist who wields it. Don't wait for all the best equipment and most expensive tools. Their day may never come. Beauty comes from the artist's skill. So practice your painting in the sand. Use whatever is right around you. After all, sunsets use clouds and landscape, including the sand. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Near-death struggles occur every day everywhere. Every bead of life in every corner lives on the verge of complete annihilation. Every baby almost dies when born, the mother just the same. Everything that breathes has cancer cells throughout its body. Once in a while, they even form tumors. Every nation, every business, every family, every friendship, everything fights through life on a precipice overlooking death. Those battles involve skill and resources, but they are won by virtue. Honesty, fairness, charity, patience, diligence, endurance, respect, forgiveness. In your next near-death battle of the day, be virtuous and the war will wage itself. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The poor don't know how the rich get money. It's a mystery to them. 
To the poor, wealth is a far distant country on a far distant continent with a foreign language that they have only heard about in movies and bedtime stories. They fear it, ponder it, covet it, yearn for it, run from it, loathe it, love it, but they never know its secret. Wealthy people, the good and the bad, make their money through hard, smart work. Scaling the walls and crossing the oceans to adopt that truth is as priceless as it is hopeless, yet some do. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. There is a line with an arrow connecting cause and results. That line is invisible to most people. It's difficult to know how to manage a farm, for example, from one year to the next. Every year's weather is different. The line between good farming and good crops always moves. It's always changing, always surprising. We never stop learning how to find the line, no matter how old we get. Some never master the art of learning the line. Success doesn't occur according to a checklist or multiple choice test. Life's line is organic. So must be our understanding of it. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. When someone finds something good, let them be and do not take it from them. Don't be the police of which good things other people should be enthralled with. If someone has a genuine, harmless excitement about something you think isn't so important, maybe you should think that person is more important than you do. Isn't it good enough just that your neighbor is happy? Be happy with those who are happy. Be with those who are sad. Keep relationships with people different from you. You might never know the difference you make or when you won't see them again. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Isn't it a great thing when your childhood friend learns a technical skill that you could never understand? And you learn another technical skill that they could never understand? The concept of mutual non-understandability seeds the source of respect. How many people fight because they think their ideas are better than everyone else's? Everyone's an expert referee at a sports game. The ref isn't there because he's smart. He's just the idiot in charge. We treat each other that way. No one can fully understand a fellow human. Advanced, specialized knowledge helps us to realize that just a little more. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com It's easy to think that nothing means something. When our priorities zero in on seeing God in coincidences and the wonderful work of our leaders or terrible, destructive schemes to move us all to the moon as Martian slaves, we miss the problems right under our noses. We are surrounded by fakes and phonies all across our social circles. People we feel guilty about thinking less of who aren't as good at normal stuff most people are, they are the ones who don't disclose even half of their secret lives. Don't worry about sneaks. Just keep sharp about what matters. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. jessesteele.com The most difficult among us are the most rewarding. It goes for friendships, employees, students, children, and probably every romance. Diamonds come in the rough, and only those with insight recognize them. Anyone can appreciate a diamond once it has been cut to shape. But those who treasure diamonds in the rough stand to earn the greatest reward. Diamonds are difficult. Not only are they hard and rare, Rather than being scratched, they often do the scratching. While everyone likes to adorn a diamond, only the most patient, strong, and skilled hands can help them ascend to their full potential. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, 
jessesteel.com. Expand beyond your comfort zone. Keep reaching. Don't shy up. Coziness is the enemy of discovery. Heroes are made by stepping out, confessing wrongdoing while playing corporate inside baseball. You never know what you miss by not going out your front door. Take the road less traveled by others or by yourself. Learn, make a new friend, help a stranger in need. Of course, never put yourself at too much risk. Carrying hitchhikers is for young men with a concealed carry permit, not old ladies seeking adventure and compassion. When you reach out, you might touch someone's heart you never knew. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Even after he has been dead almost nine years, Michael Jackson remains the most popular entertainer of all time and the most popular household name second to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus made things out of wood, including our salvation. Rather than listing acclaimed artists through the centuries, look at people who inspire us to live with more energy. Mao Zedong was wrong. No gun barrel can stop the masses when their hearts are strengthened by hope. Let your artwork blossom. Whatever skill you have, cultivate it, prune it, feed it, strengthen it, do whatever to let it flourish. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Governing is the opposite of control, not the opposite of anarchy. Anarchy is only 90 degrees off from control and governance. Governing is soft-handed guidance of a society with a mind of its own. Governance leads people by recognizing who the people are and thus calling them whatever and whomever they already chose to be. People have ambitions and responses, a psychology. They respond negatively to bad rules and appreciate rules that fit their daily routines. When leaders don't govern softly and fittingly, people rebel. Whoever rebels with hard fists fail, but well-fitting soft-handedness always wins, whether in leadership or rebellion thereof. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The world advances and decays one person at a time. Institutions follow the footprints of pioneers who do the actual exploring and surveying. Real things are accomplished by hard-working real people. Institutionalization, however, is but a shell that remains after the life of an organic society petrifies. Unfortunately, most cultures revere institutions as a kind of official status, as if a group or movement is somehow less valid before it incorporates and forms a board. Actually, becoming official in that sense makes a group less legitimate. Just be who you are. Real people will recognize you for who you are. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The big picture often trumps all. Look at your annual budget when deciding your monthly budget. Filing for a tax extension because you procrastinated actually takes more time because of the additional filing. That's about five minutes you took from your year that you could have spent better reading the Bible or watching baseball. When people stonewall, it's really annoying and frustrating and you know what? It's not that big of a wall. Only petty people stonewall because only petty people care. The same goes for insults and gossip and anything. The big picture prioritizes money, time, strategy, and friendship. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The most important lesson about people and problems is the obligation to do something helpful. Never attack and never become entangled yourself. If someone, in fact, has a well-earned reputation for broadcasting problems, be supportive, ward off any attackers because wicked people like to beat on the oppressed, and encourage them 
With the insight by standards naturally troubleshoot our problems when we divulge our problems publicly. If you have a real problem, ask for help. Some will be quick to provide the minimum you need, being their brother's keepers while preserving your dignity by carrying the equivalent of your own weight. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. As irritating as it is to have an artistic perfectionist on your team, it's much more irritating to have to go back and remake substandard average designs. Of course, you may have to ditch your pride in order to put up with that annoyingly unique and creative guy upstairs, but part of teamwork means putting up with your teammates as they help the team succeed. Movers and shakers and perfection-obsessed designers make the waves that make the motion we harness. That theory is easy to grasp, but staying focused with every millimeter of work under scrutiny is reserved for champions. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. There is a superstitious lie floating in the philosophies of mankind, perpetuated by closet elitists who mask the secrets of their wealth through well-funded ignorance among the masses. The superstition is that a rock must fall from the sky in order for anyone to become wealthy. Any other wealth was stolen in a zero-sum game. Actually, wealth comes from a synergistic game when we live by wise choices guided by wisdom from beyond our own lives. The pilgrims landed a rock upon the north, the Bible from heaven, and prosperity is freely available to all who obey that book. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The world has an overabundance of independent wills, each orbiting with its own motive. No matter what pursues you, something else is pursuing it, just as you have your own pursuits. When an adversary focuses too much energy on one target, it leaves itself vulnerable to other assaults. This is true in commerce, friendship, politics, and war. If an enemy comes after you, stare him down. Keep him busy. While he aims all his focus toward you, his flanks remain open. No such assailant lacks enemies. Sooner or later, one of the bounty hunters looking for him will swoop in. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com A kid handed me a paper with a Bible verse written on it. The way he handed it to me didn't make sense. It drooped down to the floor. His hand was closer to me than the actual paper. The side of the paper facing me was blank. I honestly didn't know what he was handing me. If it was a joke or he just didn't understand presentation. He needed the talk on giving something to someone so the recipient knows what it is. Rather than ranting about marketing, I'll merely mention both marketing and and precious diamonds in their rough. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Don't count on anything. The moment you craft for yourself any reliance on what the future might bring, you're locked into the unknown and render yourself a leaf in the breeze. Abandon old structures. Drop shame. Withdraw perfectionism. Be your best Be yourself and march onward. We can't know what the future might bring. Making one's self dependent on any outcome, when such dependence is anything but necessary, is lifestyle Russian roulette. The way through the future is agile strength and adaptive readiness, not stock planning nor course plotting. Usually, dependence on the future stems from immaturely prioritizing wants above needs. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Life has changes, ups and downs. People make mistakes. Companies change their policies as they learn with the tide of markets and deviants, such as spammers. Hold your course. Keep your heading. 
move forward. It is said that the best revenge is massive amounts of success. Let your success speak for itself. Once you have pushed past the waves, whoever and whatever besought your defeat won't matter anymore. It won't keep you awake at night once you're through the storm. So, it shouldn't keep you awake during the storm. By pushing through the winds and the waves, you'll win. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Everyone everywhere has been told and has learned that hard work pays off. So take the road with the hardest work. Choose the paths that pay. Shortcuts can be useful in developing areas, but neither as permanent routes nor long-term strategies. Cutting the soap consumption, reducing towel waste by 10%, downsizing 2% of the labor force, and buying up brands that only the selling founders understand might improve figures for the month or even the quarter, but they are no framework for an ongoing strategy. As with art, bodybuilding, and innovation, the champion's secret ingredient is elbow grease. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. If you can address a conflict in person, do it. Handling problems in public or in groups always makes things easier. Courts don't allow evidence to be used without first being inspected by both the defendant and the plaintiff. This is for good reason. The cost of public humiliation doesn't only humiliate the humiliated, it humiliates the public. Everyone has problems. Everyone knows everyone has problems. Those who deny their own problems stir the public into lynching others. But that's when the public accidentally lynches the hunchback. Publicity trump cards come at a cost. They make matters worse. Talk in person. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Almost everything is predictable, and for good reason. Some things don't change. If you understand those things, fewer things will catch you off guard. Those things that don't change are timeless principles. Usually, it is an indication of antisocial tendency when someone can't anticipate what consequences will follow certain choices and actions. If someone can't tell where their choices will lead, they may not understand timeless principles either. In this sense, everyone suffers from antisocial tendencies on some level. Learn wisdom, moral principles, timeless truths, and others pass. The more you understand history, the less the future will surprise you. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Don't be numb to crazy. People who make people crazy are probably crazy people. Review the personality disorders and a handful of the top complexes. Mental health means living a productive life, maintaining happy friendships, ability to adapt, and being able to deal with adversity, not melting down or throwing a tantrum because of an opponent. One of the sure signs that someone needs professional intervention is an inability to take responsibility and be a good Samaritan when circumstance obviously dictates. Anyone can learn about mental health. When you see crazy, don't fret and snowball your anger. Recommend professional help. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Most matters gridlocked by personal pride are cloaked as matters of principle. They're not. It seems like a matter of principle when you're mad as an angry bull and can only see the color red. I can't let him get away with doing that to me, the attitude goes. It's about the principle. Principles are important. Without them, society breaks down entirely. So look at the deeper principles truly at stake. Much ado about little, mountains grown from ant hills, grown adults squabbling over matters so silly children can't notice the difference. Being petty is also a matter of principle, and that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. 
Take time out of your business to travel, sit, and talk face to face with people. Cancel important things. Cut your business profits. Axe. Hack. Chop off something you are doing that needs to be done. Make the sacrifice that won't kill you so that other people can encounter you in the flesh. Sometimes it is rejuvenating and your own work list actually gets more items checked off after a personal encounter. You need that encounter as much as other people do. Some face-to-face time helps relationships because it's the right thing to do costing everyone less time in the end. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Moving forward often requires placing our favorite pet projects on the chopping block to move forward without them. It's easy to see which projects need the ax, but accepting so proves more difficult. Right away, we know what costs more and can't carry its own weight, which projects don't sow good karma, so to speak, and which ones generate the necessary buzz of a freemium business model. The keepers stay afloat, being able to generate lift. Some things need carrying in their beginnings, but you can only carry so much baggage. Axe, whatever weighs more than you can carry. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Mental conditions originate from many sources, whether medical or emotional physical abuse or a learning style ignored or a type of autism wrongly reacted to. Situations like these get worse and worse, spiraling around a self-smothering cocoon of crazy. Once cocooned up in the crazy tree... No one can help that person more than that person is willing. Everyone feels the pull to climb crazy trees at times. The only thing that pulls us down from climbing crazy is love from other people. Knowing that someone on the ground loves us and calls out to us can call us back down. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Many evil deeds are impossible against those who do not fear whatever harm evil might do. Evil, wicked men plot and plan terrible things, but those things cannot begin unless people fall into panic. And let us not forget that part of the war against evil is against spirits and demons who literally feed on fear and grow larger and more powerful in size the more people are afraid of what has not yet happened. Next time, terrors and fears come knocking on your door. Treat them as an alien sentience. Ignore them. Focus your planning on paths of love. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. God prepares tables in the presence of enemies. This is one of the benefits that comes with being a Christian. When Jesus is your friend, he takes his white tux and wraps it around you right in front of your enemies just to tick them off. It might sound insensitive to be so insensitive to mean, cruel, oppressive, well, to enemies. But flaunting a little lack of concern for people who want to do you harm comforts the soul. Nothing is as reassuring as the Almighty setting up tables topped with white linens and fancy banquets all ready to eat. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. You can't know whether a thing will work unless you try it. Three things often try to keep us from trying things that are most likely to work out. Fear of being a nuisance, boredom, and bad weather. If your plans are good, bad people will be annoyed by them. Never fear being a nuisance. Hope for it. The good roads are long and boring. Never let a boring road deter you from its destination. And right before we head off to unearth buried treasure, some thunderstorm always gets jealous. But bad weather has a way of pulling punches. And that's the point. 
I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Hard work, achievement, victory, and defeat all come in waves. Consider how a sandcastle gets knocked down. It doesn't happen slowly and evenly as the tide comes in. One wave after another gets closer and closer until a monster wave comes out of nowhere and washes over the sandcastle how an army only dreams of. Things turn for better just when they look worse, and worse just when they look better, then back to better, and then back to worse, or even better. Progress and decline both swing and leap. They are never linear, but always rewarding foresight. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Victories never happen by themselves including the godly ones. Unless God decides the battle, fighting only wastes time. When God decides to whom the victory should go, the battle must still be fought. God avails opportunity and unlocks doors, but we must step forward, reach out, push open, and take what is offered to us, because victories never happen by themselves. Sometimes a gentle push means offering tokens of friendship or demonstrated charity. Sometimes it means showing the truth to someone who misunderstands you. Sometimes it means evicting bad, dangerous people. But every victory still needs taking. And taking means taking. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Ignore them. You know who? The people who say, it will never fail, but you always will. These are the lecturer types who are convinced that world empires never fail. As if they never heard about Rome or Greece. It is the biggest and always will be. Such are the words of a man who does not believe things can be caused because he does not know how things are caused into being. So he neither believes nor knows how things are caused into failing. He's wrong. You can cause success as much as you can cause failure. Make smart choices. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. We have so many identity-shaping experiences from our formative years. No book can be written long enough to list what kinds of events might make us act insane. Even being asked to sit down might trigger a conditioned response that a scolding would soon follow, and a beating after that. So a friend asks you to sit down, and you flip out, and you can't figure out what went wrong. The golden rule from Jesus flags and cures all of these. Love others as yourself. Don't resist evil. By following his simple rules, you'll find whatever issues lurk beneath the surface. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Anyone can refine and narrow down a preferred recreation. Anyone can sit in a chair and ponder one's own life and what useless hobbies we each enjoy the most. But profitability, the ability to make money needed to do what you really want to do in your heart, can't come from a psychologist or conversationalist. Discovering your own profitability requires someone who has discovered his own. We need feedback from friends and family. These are useful, but even more. We also need information, facts, challenges, and someone to teach by example on how to quickly get to the point. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. God seems to like to wait until the last minute before solving our problems, but he doesn't actually. He doesn't wait until the last minute any more than he waits for the first minute. He waits for the perfect minute. Baking a cake requires the perfect cooking time, neither too long nor too short. 
Our self-worry, wanting to fly while keeping both feet on the ground, causes us to perceive that God often waits until the last minute to come through. He doesn't. He does everything at just the perfect time. It takes getting used to acting at the perfect time. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. There are two ways to kill a cockroach. One way involves the same way to prevent its intrusion in the first place. Starvation. If we don't have food or water sprinkled all over our floors and in the cracks of our sofas, they won't last more than a month and they probably won't move in to begin with. The second way is with poison. Cockroaches poop and pee and make our houses stink. Outside, they keep the world clean because the rain cleans up after them. They'll only visit to clean up houses whose keepers don't clean up after themselves. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Many of us live in a world surrounded by stuff that doesn't work. Square pegs ordered for round holes they won't fit. Things so disorganized, not a flicker of hope shines in escape from chaos. People who just won't do a good job no matter how much extra work it creates for themselves and others. Such disorder requires patient leaders. The temptation of any leader or foreseer is to push the process along and make life better. Don't be seduced by this. People's quality of life must be their own, not their leaders. Order can be taught, but not bestowed. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Everyone has opportunities, and no opportunity lasts forever. So everyone has a revolving door of opportunities that come and go. But people tend to forget, which is why people tend to take opportunities for granted, thinking every opportunity will last forever. Sometimes you are the opportunity for someone else. Accordingly, people will take you for granted and think that your time is limitless. When they do, don't stick around for them. It's always tempting to stick around while ambivalent people ponder nothing infinitely. Don't. One of the best opportunity teachers is the opportunity missed. Never miss your teachable opportunity to teach. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Treat your friends well. Friends are friends as long as you treat them like friends. The moment you fail to forgive, fail to show mercy, or even fail to share is the moment you make your best friend into your enemy. It's not that your lack of compassion and kindness will offend your friend, though there is that. The problem runs deeper. Men are not inclined to die quietly. When you fail in friendship to share and show mercy, you require that former friend to fight you to survive. That choice adds insult, so such friends won't object to fighting. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Backing down is not the same thing as being sweet and charming. Friendliness includes pushing forward, leaning on slow doors until they open. Reject the lie that nice guys have to finish last. Actually, nice guys finish first so they can take the trophy home to their loved ones who supported them and put up with them through all the difficult training necessary to win. Nothing gets done without turbulence. Races require sweat. Construction requires demolition and dust. Even trees break up the ground as they spread roots. Life grows better if you're sweet, but winning makes your sweetness worthwhile. And that's the point. 
I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Once the city gets built, residents easily lose the conscience that built their city. Projects yield good results because of wisdom, tough decisions, doing things that aren't popular everywhere, even paying above market value, firing friends, and hiring enemies, all because of the quality of work that will get done. But after the hard work, hard thinking, and hard choices become history, human tendency is to take the yield for granted. Pile that into urban populations with infrastructure and real estate unsustainable without farmlands. Understandably, urban populations favor public spending. But it's big money, not bankrupt government, that spends big. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Not everybody grows up when they grow up. None of us mature the moment we get wise counsel, but the wise among us can plant wisdom seeds of a happy life. Don't hate or fret over the idiots in your life. In some sense, you've been that idiot before and you probably will be again. Rather, take your frustration with other people's immaturity to a constructive venue. Keep planting wisdom seeds and keep dripping water on those seeds. Adults are brats because the adults in their lives didn't drip wisdom. You be the adult and they just might grow up. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Marshall Rosenberg called it jackal language. Satwa called it blamer mode. Whatever flavor you like to call it, using negative descriptions, declaring one word final opinions about the person arguing with you, and saying things like, you always, never, isn't smart if your goal is peace. But in that, there's another pattern we often miss, verbal cannonballs, or barking. When we're unhappy, we tend to add words like anyway or start sentences with well. We don't normally do this, only when feeling barky. When words add no more meaning than a bark, they should be classified as barking. More specifically, jackal barking. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com. Everyone can become an expert in some field. An awesome counselor becomes a renowned authority because of people well counseled. A pro golfer becomes a moral role model for young people. A basketball star becomes a hairstyle trendsetter and informal international negotiator with North Korea. A Rubik's Cube tutor becomes a famed blogger that Network News wants to interview about social political matters? But is it wise to hire life coaches or psychotherapists to help set and achieve our life goals rather than product managers who know profitable scalability? I wouldn't ask my neurosurgeon to clean my kitchen. Better a house cleaner. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Today presents too many quests for fame. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace, Snapchat, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, Tumblr. The many corners of the sprawling social bragosphere have everyday average ordinary people hungry for fame. We grow up being told to watch the TV. Then the TV tells us to try to be famous like the people trying to be famous on shows like Star Search or Britain's Got Talent. But fame doesn't always seem to turn out so well. Just ask any of the actors who played Anakin Skywalker. Don't seek fame. Seek to build your character first. When worthy, you'll shine. 
And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Don't wait always. Waiting and calculating can be good, but not when the oceans open up a way forward. Sometimes you'll have to interpret signs in the universe spoken without words. A sunny day and a break in your schedule might mean you need to take a walk outside. Who knows where your journey could lead? A bold knock, a new friend, a changed law, anything could open one path into another. But you'll only know if you keep walking. So consider the invitations given in nature's native language. Watch for circumstances as they explain an open invitation. Then accept. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Some doors only open when you push on them. It can be rude to ask for a free gift, but some things require request. Know the difference. When it is time to knock on the door, knock gently and kindly. Wait until answered. Knock again if no one hears. If no one is home, go away and come back to knock again another day. Shut doors open with two keys, patience and charm. You have to keep knocking, but you must also smile while you wait. You never know who may be inside looking out, deciding before giving an answer. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.